In today's post-match reaction, we will analyze our performance against Cadiz. What an unfortunate result, but there are lots of positives from this game. Our first half performance wasn't that good, but second half performance was very solid. At first half, our tempo was very slow, like no decision making. Our transition is kinda expected, very slow, and there was no fast cre chance creation. Kadi sat back very low, very deep defensively, so the only way we can create chance is through the flank, left or right. And if you see our performance at first half, we tried to do a lot of crossings, and most of them were not fruitful. The reason why our crossing was really bad at first half is that, first of all, the crossing wasn't good. Second of all, Kedi's goalie was really solid. Besides, when you have only one tall striker, it's easy to mark. Like back in the day, when we had Bale, we had Benz, we had Ronaldo, it was too easy for us to score from header and crossing. But now that's not the case. I don't understand the meaning of crossing and getting no result from that. And Hazard got his chance back and at first half his performance wasn't what we wanted to see. But in second half, he was rock solid. I like his performance. And the link up between him and Benz and Vini in second half was noteworthy. But as I said, in first half, he was doing very safe passing, side passing, back passing. I don't like that. If you want to impress Carlo and get a chance in the team, you have to take risks, take one-on-one, -on -one, show what he can do. And we did not see that from Hazard. On the other hand, Vasquez was really wasteful in crossing. And our best chance at first half was from a long distance shot from Valverde, who is also back. And Valverde's performance was okay. It's not the Valverde that we love to see. I expected a little bit more from Valverde, but I understand that Cadiz is a very defensive team, so it's very difficult for Valverde Valverde to create chance because he's a player who needs high pressing team. Additionally, he needs more game time to adjust with other teammates. And defensively, Milita Wagon showed a rock solid performance. To conclude our first half performance, we lacked urgency, we did not have dynamic movement, we did not have clear cut chances, and we needed overlapping runs from the flanks to create chance we, we missed mostly in first half. In second half, we improved, which we were lacking. The tempo, the fast creation, the fast movement. And as a result, we saw just after the start of the second half, we saw we were creating lots of chances, especially through left side and right side, through Vini and Hazard. I think in five minutes, we created four good chances back to back. Especially Hazard's performance in second half was astonishing. His link up with Benz and Vini was sublime. Because of his overlapping runs, which created lots of space, Cruz has multiple good passes to Hazard. Even though it's not a prime Hazard performance, I was content with his performance. His dazzling performance was the missing point from first half. As I said, we have long run to go in Champions League and in La Liga. Every player has to perform at their best. I'm glad that Hazard is getting back and his redemption is true. I know many of you don't like Hazard, but he's one of my favorite players. When we signed him, I was so excited to see his performance, the way he played with Chelsea. Even though we did not see that level of performance yet with our shirt, I'm still optimistic that he can replicate that form. And it's just a matter of time. And we had 36 shots. I said 36. And we could not score one goal. Yes, you can argue that most of our chance wasn't like clear cut chance. Most of the chance was like half chance. But if you want to win a game who likes to sit deep like this, you have to score from half chance. And you need some individual brilliance like we saw against Sevilla, the way Vinny scored one of the most beautiful goals. We needed those, but unfortunately, we did not have those moments. So overall, not the result we wanted, but we played really good in second half particularly. And sometimes luck is not with you, but you have to keep going and be persistent. Overall, okayish first half performance and a solid second half performance. Now let's analyze our tactical aspect of our game. We played 4-3-3 and Cadiz played 4-4-2, even though on paper they played 4-4-2, in reality they played 4-1 and 4-1, which is like 5-5, so almost like 10-0, that's their formation. All the time, especially first half and most part of the second half, they set back very deep. Only thing they wanted from this match is a point, which they sift successfully today. And our tactics, especially in first half, was to create chance from the flank through 
Hazard or Vasquez or Vinny. I felt that Paulo's most primary objective is to not concede goal. Keep it slow. Don't go crazy. Goal will eventually come. And I believe we suffered just because of our slow tempo at first half. If we'd play the way we played like the second half, the result would be totally different. And if you see the heat map of our and their players, you can see most of our players are predominantly in their side. In contrast, if you see the hit map, most of their players sit back, they even do not try to attack. Another tactic from Cadiz was that having a lot of players in their half. Whenever Benz or Hazard will have ball, they will close up the space as fast as possible so that we can't shoot. Which is why, despite having 36 shots, we only have 9 shots on target. And their players were very vigilant all the time. Now, player ratings and performance. From our side, the best player has to be Hazard. As I said, his performance in second half was really good. His overlapping runs and link up bit between Benz and Vinny will definitely help us to win low block teams in the future. And that's one of the really good positive for our side. And defensively, Militao again really had a solid game. I mean, his physicality and his performance was getting better and better every game. And at midfield, Cruz's performance was again really excellent. However, I expect a little bit more from Valverde. Now, three key points from this game. First, Hazard's redemption will definitely help us for our future games, especially against low block team. His link up and overlapping runs will definitely help to create more chances. As a result, we will have more squad depth, which is really necessary to win Champions League and La Liga. Second, we have to change our tactics of playing slow tempo at first half. We need to be quick, we need to be urgent to create chance and score goal. Once you score first goal, then you can slow the tempo and control the match. But before that, we have to play like the way we played second half. Third, we need better rotations. Why we need better rotation? First of all, for overall fitness so that everyone can stay fit. Second of all, so the player can get more game time and perform their best. And we saw at the beginning that some of the sloppy pass and sloppy movement from Valverde is due to lack of game time. But over time, he got better eventually. Like some of the rotation did not make sense to me. Like we replaced Valverde for Jovi, but I think we could do better if we would replace Valverde for Kamavinga. We know how good Kamavinga is, the energy he has, the physicality and defensive ability and the chance creation he has, I think would make some difference in today's performance. And we saw against Sevilla, Kamavinga changed the whole flow of the match. Overall, we lost 2 points but we're still top of the league, 6 points ahead of Sevilla and Sevilla is going to host Barcelona in next Tuesday, which will be really exciting. An ideal result would be Barca to lose but because of the situation of the table, we want Sevilla to lose against Barcelona. And I will have my live reaction for Sevilla vs Barcelona game. And of course, please like and comment on anything about this game. What do you guys think about our performance today?